For the short time my channel has existed on YouTube, I've only made two Skywars videos. Which isn't a lot, but I've played quite a bit of Skywars. In the first two videos there's a common trend. I suck. I couldn't keep losing rounds like this if I wanted to make more Skywars content. Unless I wanted to make more fails and montages. Blech. I had to win more rounds. Or at least, get more kills. I had to... get good. If I was gonna get good, I'd need a plan. I need to find the core skill sets of Skywars and train those. From my time playing, I found that PvP, bridging, and looting speed played big roles in Skywars. I made lists of what parts of these I needed to train and began making a plan. I then played 50 rounds of Skywars to find my win to loss ratio, which was 1 out of 25, which isn't the best. I also found my kill to death ratio was 0.6. I'd later use these to find if I actually improved. PvP, the heart and soul of Skywars. If I wanted to get good at Skywars, I'd need to get good at this. But what part of PvP to train? Knockback? Combos? Ranged combat? Strafing? The answer was yes. I quickly hopped into duels and got destroyed. Obviously, I needed a server where I wouldn't be paired against a sweaty tryhard, so I could actually improve. This is where PvP land comes in. Now, PvP land sounds like it might have even more sweaty tryhards in it. But it has a cool feature where you can battle against bots, ranging from easy to hacker. I started off with Gapple Jewels, but after comboing a bot for 3 minutes, I decided to hop in Sumo Jewels. I bit the extreme bot with ease. This gave me confidence. I hopped back into Hypixel and started playing Sumo Jewels. I continued with that for a bit, before I moved over to Bow Jewels. I won a few rounds, but some of the people in there were very good with bows. Nobody's really playing bow jewels at the time, and I had to wait quite a bit before the next round would start, so I moved over to Virginia. Bridging isn't the most important thing for Skywars, and the section would probably do better in a Bed Wars video, but bridging helps in the less. First, I was going to try and learn to ninja bridge, so I hopped into the bridging server I commonly use called MC Play HD, and I learned it pretty quick. So what was next? Diagonal ninja bridging. It took a while, a long while, because it requires better timing than normal ninja bridging, and it requires your mouse to be in the right place, but I eventually did it. So then I tried to learn a commonly used bridging technique in Skywars, the ninja bridge staircase. I'm not sure what it's actually called, but it involves ninja bridging while jumping to make a staircase. I continued practicing these for a bit before I moved over to looting speed. Looting fast can give a quick head start in the game, and it can also help when you're in the center trying to loot chests when everyone else is fighting. Now I could set up some sort of contraption to put items into a random slot in a chest, but the quickest way for me to improve was just to play the game. This would also help me practice other skills from earlier, and it would also help me learn where all the chests are. I noticed I was winning a lot more rounds, and I also had the best round I've ever had during this time. I continued playing Skywars for a bit to train my chest looting speed before I played another 50 rounds to find my new win to loss ratio. After playing 50 rounds, I noticed my win to loss ratio had doubled from 1 out of 25 to 1 out of 12.5. My kill to death ratio had also improved from 0.6 to 0.8. Maybe I just got lucky, but I did notice I was getting a lot more combos. I will keep practicing these over time, and hopefully I won't be so terrible by the time I make another Skywars video. This was my first time making a video like this, and it did take more time to make, but I really enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed this video and want me to make more like it, then make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.